So as you can see, we got some socks going out. Let's see what we got. Uh, got a couple customs. Shout out to Erin, best off of Queen. She's been sending a couple of pictures. She's getting some from. I just cropped the pictures out and kind of layered them the best way I could. Uh, let me, I want y'all to see the address. That's the bottom part. Turned that pretty good. Uh, got these going out. Looks like a cow or a moose. That's a cow, I think. Almost kissing dude. <laughs> that was just a nice sock. I hope they like those. And some uh, Kanye West going out to some other people. And I just got these sitting here because look at that. So inspirational. I just love looking at that. Look at that. Some roses. Some galaxies. Actually, these right here are going to be in my giveaway that I'm going to do here soon. Uh, I'm going to try to schedule it. It might be one day this week, maybe like Thursday or something like that. I'm going to try to be professional and go ahead and, you know, schedule it that way you guys will know. You know how I am. I'm usually doing pop-ups. But got a couple things I want to unbox here. And I want to go over some other stuff here as well. But first, we got to make it to the office because I got some things I got to pull there too. So let's go over there and see what we got. <laughs> Got my phone in the car. I need to go check the mail anyway. I always I don't check my mail at all. I mean I always forget to do that. So key, $150 key. <laughs> First thing I want to do is apologize. I just checked my mail and I have a couple of holiday cards from some people, which I'm shocked. Didn't think anybody would send me anything. Now I'm looking at the dates. Some of them say December 19th, December 14th. I did check my mail last week, so some of these I guess ran behind with the mail and everything. I do have them. And I just want to shout all that out. First, let me go through them. Let me go through some of them. Stop being rude, Dave. Merry Christmas cards. I'm not going to read exactly. Uh, this one says, um, thank you for the great content and your knowledge. God bless Justin. Justin, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. This will go on my wall. I plan on having a wall right here with all the things that I get from viewers. Because I really appreciate y'all just watching. And when you do stuff like this, man, it's, it's too much. Straight up. Uh, I got another one. This one's from Bonermania. Bonermania, I appreciate it, man. He just says, thank you for the crazy year and keeping us entertained and distracted from all the chaos. Good luck for 2021. Good luck to you too, man. Good luck to all of y'all, man. I appreciate that card. And I have one more here. This one's from Deborah. And Deborah, Deborah. Deborah put $20 in the card. Bruh. I gotta read this one. She said, thank you for my sock order. I look forward to receiving it. I believe my sister-in-law will have them. I've been closing the money to feel the shortage on the payment. I told you you didn't have to do that. Deborah, I think we, we had some type of order. I forgot it got a mix up and ended up being more. And I told her, don't even worry about it. But she sent me some money just because. She said, maybe with the remainder, you can have lunch. Thank you. God bless. Deborah. Deborah, come on. Y'all be too much, man. <laughs> I appreciate the cords. Sorry, I'm just not reading them, but with the mail and the office times and all that crazy stuff, I, it's crazy. So, anyway, let's get to some orders. Actually, send me this clover and go check them out. This is actually perfect because I need all the luck I can get in 2021. 2020 was a bad year. First thing going out is I just posted this. It's that belt. You remember that belt that I got from uh, that little 20 minute spin over in um, Give Me Five, my little band store, this right here? That went for $19.99 plus shipping. Actually, it was free shipping on that belt. Second thing I got going out is these right here Talic Dega USA Vintage Stickers. I got these in a lot of patches. The stickers just actually came in. Uh, near the state sale, so I'm, I don't know, probably pennies into this. Um, these went for $19.99, free shipping as well. Got a Madden 95 going out. And actual original box, this right here. Super Nintendo. I used to kill this game back in the day. This and Tecmo Bowl, I was the man with the plan. 
Yes, sir. That went for $14.99 plus shipping. Now, this next sweater right here, I really don't want to pack. This person couldn't have known what was going to happen yesterday that happened, if you understand what I'm saying. It's a Giants New Era cap. Let's get it out real quick. For those of y'all who... Oh, hold on, let me turn it around. For those of y'all who don't know, I'm a Cowboys fan, all right? The Cowboys played the Giants yesterday. Crucial game, all right? The Cowboys had to win that game. By the tone of my voice, y'all know they lost, all right? <laughs> and this person decided, it just happened to fall like this, to order a Giants beanie, Bruh. all right? Let me tell you what it went for first. It went for $21.99, free shipping. I should refund the guy, get all my giants, because I got a couple more, get all my giants toboggans, throw them in the corner, and watch them burn. Beat <laughs> my cowboys like that. How about them? Got those orders packed up. On my way to the post office, had about 12 orders go out today, including socks per eBay and everything. Uh, just started listing on eBay real hard again uh, yesterday. So, eBay order should pick up here soon. You know, when you don't list on eBay, guess what? You don't get any wins. You don't get any bids. You don't get any orders. I guess that's the word I'm trying to... I kept trying to say words to come up with the word. 2021. What's this? The Bruh. first day of 2021? And mine has been terrible. You understand what I'm saying? Reason why I say this is because fantasy football ended yesterday. First, wait a minute. Let's talk about Dallas. Dallas lost yesterday to the Giants. I'm not going to elaborate on that. We're not making it to the playoffs. Socks. Fantasy football. For those of y'all who don't know, I haven't really talked about it, but I was in a fantasy football league with fellow resellers, you know, John, uh, Lonnie, uh, Garage Flips and Cincinnati Picker, uh, Thrift Mind, Froggy Flips, uh, Ronnie Hart, Tim, uh, Dwayne, Matt, part time picker, and um, I know I'm missing somebody. I always miss somebody. But we was all in the fantasy league. And, uh, oh, um, no. I think it's everybody. I think it's somebody else. I'll let you know. We was all in the fantasy league. I made it all the way to the championship and lost. You understand what I'm saying? But shout out to Dwayne. He beat me. Um, proud of myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's my first time playing with them. And uh, your boy made it all the way to the championship. I did win $75 for coming in second. But... What do they always say? If you're not first, you're last. But I will take that 75. You understand what I'm saying? Other than that, 2021 has been great. You know what I'm saying? So All right, back at home in the basement. Doing a little listing. What I'm doing is, um, what I've been doing actually is taking pictures of everything. And listing later. Sometimes I have free time at work and here, there, and other. And I like to have all the photos on my phone. That way I can list whenever I want to. Uh, as you can see right here. I got a bunch of Harley hats I've listed. Not the, these ones I got to list. These ones I have listed. Uh, well, I keep saying listed. Ones I took pictures of. No, I actually listed these. Sorry. Uh, Harley hats. And some of these go like these right here. I got listed for 180 A lot of these are 100 plus hats. That's a $69 one. Hundred, hundred. So those do pretty good. And as you can see, I got more here. I actually got some wraps that I got a list as well. Order wraps. This right here it says ninety one. You can't see it right there, but nineteen ninety one, early nineties, some eighties. I have a question on something. Uh, I got this box here. Got this box full of action figures and these are actually I mean you got 80s I got 90s stuff in here question for y'all though do you take the time and look this stuff up some of the stuff could take hours and hours and I guess you don't know if it's worth it until you start looking at this stuff but a person like me I'm not the toy kind of so I don't know a lot about vintage toys so it's like do I even want to go down that hole? Or do you just do it at auction? Throw it all down, throw an auction, and people can drive the price up because people looking for this stuff know what it's worth. And they're going to do the work for you. So I've had luck with a lot of stuff like that where I actually didn't know the value of stuff. I did an auction and it they knew the value. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about this is it's all kinds of different stuff. I got Spider-Man, He-Man. Look at this. 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna spread some of this stuff out so y'all can. I got all kinds of different stuff over here. Um, you know, Oreos and look at that. Little plastic figures. I'm like, what are those? You know? Uh, how do you look stuff up like that? Uh, look at that. So as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff. We've got a Spider-Man over here. I put him with him. This is Captain America. Look, look at this stuff. Look, these look like they go together. Look, because both of them got stands. I don't know, man. This got the Hulk right here. What is that? That look like the. It look like the cornflake guy. He's missing an arm, but he look like he goes with them. So I put him with them. So I guess I had to put some of this stuff together. But that's the thing. I don't know. Like him, and he from like He Man or something like that. I'm not sure. I think he from He Man. And that's the research that choir requires time. Donald Duck. He look, I don't know. Anyway, see, there's a lot of these plastic figures here. Frankenstein. He says 1980 Frankenstein. More plastic figures over here. Look at this. More plastic. See, I don't even know if all them plastic go together. But anyway, it's a lot. Look at this box. It's a lot in here. And I've been having this for a while, and it's just something that I want to go through. Uh, look, a bunch of California raisins. These are 1987. Another California raisin. See, anyway, I know that what these are. Some of them I know. But a lot of them I don't. Who's he? 1986, uh, 1985. So it's a lot of stuff and there might be some money in here. It's from Texas Roadhouse, 2004. Uh, more of these plastics. What are these plastic things right here? You know what these are called? Uh, let's see, we got, is he from He-Man? I think he's from He, it's not He-Man. What is that? M-O-T-O? Masters of the Universe or whatever? I messed up the initials, didn't I? Um, so, yeah. More California Raisins. Oh, look at that. What's the year is that? 1985. I remember him. So, um, look at all this stuff, man. It's ridiculous. I think these are the little guys from Masters of the Universe. It's a bunch of them in there, look. Uh, uh, look at that. Uh, uh. Any of y'all that know anything about this, let me know. He is 1981. I guess I could take the time and put him right there. Another one of them. So, this is what I'm dealing with. And it's more where that came from. Another Spider-Man. Let's see what year it is. Uh, 1980. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> 2013. That's a new one. So. Yeah, man. I'm going to do a little listing. Listing more hats list some more jerseys i have more jerseys after i can list older jerseys and uh but right now let's get into this unboxing i got about four packages done eating unboxing. all right this first thing was just ink i ordered this you know how everybody was been going through this whole shipping delay stuff uh i ordered this ink december the 7th and it just got here bruh i didn't trip because i knew about the shipping being that i am a shipper and uh it almost cost me. I almost ran out of ink for this whole sock wave I got for Christmas orders, but luckily I had just enough. And this, of course, gets here after the fact, but I'm glad it got here and it didn't get lost. So, shout out to the person I bought the ink from. This next one right here is from Hustle and Silence. Let's see what we got from Hustle and Silence. He said, Dave, I found a few items when I was thrifting and thought you might be able to put them to get use. 
The ball needs air, but it should make a good display piece for you. Go Saints. If the jacket doesn't fit, feel free to resell it. Thanks for the great content. I'm working to get consistent on my channel, Hustle and Silence. Feel free to check my eBay store, Not One Nation merch. Take care and stay safe. Straight up. Hustle and Silence. Hustle and Silence. Come on, Wayne. Look at this. And I'm going to show you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. Are you still talking? University of Louisville. Yes, I'm still talking. Hi. University of Louisville. Cool over. Adidas. That's who they sponsored by. A nice one. It's a fit perfect, man. My God, this is nice. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, this fit. This is a fit perfect. And he has something else in here. Oh, wow. I gotta open this up for y'all. Now this right here is bittersweet because y'all know, but well, let me show you. It's a Cowboys football. So I had to show y'all that before I said what I said. It's bittersweet because we lost yesterday and we're not in the playoffs like I mentioned earlier. And uh, so it's making me rethink it. You know what I'm saying? I kind of forgot about it and then I'm thinking about it again. I'm getting kind of mad, but this is making me happy at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Okay, this right here, look. All the Super Bowls they won. I know it's been 25 years plus, but look at that. Look at that. Come on, Hustle and Silence, man. Hey, shout out to you, man, for this, man. This is nice, man. This is uh, 1999. I got a great spot for it. I'm about to do a little cowboy shrine over here and I got a Louisville shrine over here. So, both of these is, hey, I really, really appreciate it, man. I have been on your channel and I see where, yeah, you do have content on there, but yeah, man, go ahead, put it out, man. You know, even if you think it's not good, man, upload, upload, upload. That's what I tell everybody. People always say, you know, how'd you get to where you at? And you know, in a year's time, which it hasn't been a year yet, and I just tell man, I just continue to upload. If you go to my first video, it's terrible. I even think my last video is terrible, but guess what? It's gonna get better, better, and better. So just keep uploading. That's all you can do. If you don't upload, you're not gonna succeed. So upload if you wanna do the YouTube thing. All right, and I know who this is from just by looking at the uh, name on the box. And uh, it's from your guy, Cincinnati Picker. I appreciate it. He said, Dave, hope this fits you. Keep up the great work and reselling in YouTube. Your friend John. Shout out to John, man. <laughs> Let's see what it is. John, I always look out, man. Speaking of John, before I open this, man, he's gave me a lot of, a lot of good info as far as just YouTube and reselling, just being a good guy. You know, we, we do, uh, we in the fantasy football league, so we kind of talk all the time because we talk crap and that. We all in there talking crazy, man, all the time. So, oh man, look at this. Like I, what I just say about that football, but look at this right here, though. <laughs> this is actually, man, uh, on the field. Look, crucial catch. Edition. This one's nice, man. This is nice. Shout out to John, man. For hooking your brother up with the Cowboys merch. I'm all Cowboys merched up, ready for next year, right? That's what Cowboy fans always say. Next year. We need to get it done, man. Let's not talk about it. We're not talking about that right now. John, I appreciate it, man. You didn't have to do that. Matter of fact, John hit me up. And he sh I've seen this already. And I didn't know what he was going to do with it. And he just sent it to me. But uh, I was trying to get it. And I asked him how much. And it ended up at my doorstep. So he didn't even reply to my how much. <laughs> Shout out to John, man. I appreciate it. This is a personal, this is a personal buy. Well, I'm going to show it to you anyway. Y'all yeah, know I got a problem, right? Shoes. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Anybody know anything about shoes, they know. You buy Yeezys. Yep, these are Yeezys. But I'm gonna show these guys. Okay, these wrenches. I got these. These are Yeezy 350 Sands. I don't have any shoes this color, that's why I got these, and these will be rocked. Believe it or not, these are some of the most comfortable shoes you can get. And I do wear these all the time. All the other shoes y'all seen, these drug ones, they look good, I love them, but guess what? 
they are not comfortable. These right here, I can walk around all the time. So I'm old now, so I buy shoes for comfort, not for looks. Well, I'll take that back. I do buy them for looks, but I buy them for comfort at the same time. They're not comfortable, I'm not rocking them like that. Drip ones, I probably can get through an eight hour shift and I'm done. These right here, all day. So shout out for me for getting these. And not only that, I can wear these and then years down the line, guess what? Probably sell them for more than I bought them for them. So I'm smart. I think about that stuff too. But anyway, y'all not here for that. But that's it, man. Uh, shout out to all. Look at this. Let me show the little thing one more time. Look at this. I don't know. It's a bad angle. Come on, let me give you a good angle. It's a pullover. It's like a long pullover. It's like, like a rain jacket. Shout out to Hustle and Silence. It's a Snidey Picker. I appreciate it. And all the other guys who sent the cards, I appreciate that. I'm going to end the video because I'm babbling. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all be good. Peace.